What's up, everybody? How are you guys doing out there? And welcome to another episode of Finding Your Purpose. I hope everybody is good out there. I hope life is treating you the way it should be. And before we get into the topic, I would like to tell everyone to please like, share, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. And please don't forget to tell your friends, your family, Tell everybody, subscribe, because once we get to a 1,000 followers, that's when I can start the giveaway. And believe me, you don't want to miss out. I have a lot of good giveies. Give, I have a lot of good goodies to give away. Excuse me, I'm tongue-tied. So, with that being said, let's get into the topic. I'm pretty sure all you guys have heard about this topic, but I don't want to beat a dead horse. But recently, there have been new details coming out quite often. So I wanted to give my input on this. And so that's what I'm going to do. And the topic is about Miss Sandra Massey. You know, the young lady that called the police to her home because she thought she heard someone trying to break in. Okay, so she calls the police. They come to her home. And they sit down and talk. And she tells them what she heard, this, that, and the other. And then she gets up to go in her kitchen because she has some water boiling. So, my guess is she was going to shut it off. But then the cop was kind of rude, like saying, shut that water off, you know. He was just being downright rude. And she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Now, I have several feelings on this. And one of them is, you as a police officer, (coughs) excuse me, you are there. To make sure that no one is trying or tried to break in. And make sure that her and her family is safe. What does what she has going on in her kitchen, what business, of, what business is it of his to be instructing her what to do. Like, you don't know what she could have been cooking. Why does she have to, you know, get rid of the water? Because you say, you're not there to instruct anyone on how to manage things in their household. You are there to protect and make sure she's safe as well as her family members that are in the home. But now, there are things coming out that the officer that did that to her, he knew her, and she knew him. But... There's also things going around, reports, I should say. They're going around saying that Miss Massey knew his girlfriend as well. And the girlfriend didn't like Miss Massey. Now, I don't know how true that is, but I did see this in multiple reports that other people have been doing 
And it got me thinking. Is that why he did what he did? Because Miss Massey saying, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus is not a reason for you to, you know, do what you did. I don't want to keep using that word because you know how YouTube does. So, but that's makes you wonder, is that why he did what he did? And there's also reports coming out that Miss Massey suffered from mental illness. Okay. Now, here is something that concerns me. Now, I don't know if anybody else was home with her at the time. But if 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 that's the case, if she did suffer from mental illness, I hope she wasn't there alone. She shouldn't have been there alone if she was. Because you never know when they can have a, a breakdown. And it could be the slightest thing that would cause a breakdown. Now, I'm not sure if she was there home alone. I'm just saying that from my point of view, because nobody's saying if anybody else was in the home at the time of this happening or at the time of someone trying to break in. But, you know, all this stuff, it does make you question a lot of things. And then they were talking about how the cop that did what he did, how he had six other previous jobs before this. Dude, what is wrong with you? Why were you let go from all these other places? And apparently he only got the job he had at the time because his father-in-law knew people and got him in the door. Folks... We have to stop doing that. Like, if you know a person isn't right, just because you know them, stop putting in a good word when you know clearly they're not right, especially for jobs like this. And then, you know, the cop's family and the in-laws want to come out and say negative things like, okay, let it go. You know, he's in jail. He's uh, waiting for trial and things like that. No, no one's going to let it go. Miss Massey lost her life over the ignorance of your family member. Would you let it go if it was the other way around? No, you would not. And they also had a question about why people were protesting. They weren't necessarily protesting on, you know, the cop himself. They were protesting on the fact of how these police departments just let any and everybody work for them. You don't look you didn't look at their background, the, their work history before you hire them. So what if someone put in a good word for them? <laughs> Did you do your due diligence and really look at stuff and decide really heart to heart? 
do they deserve to do this type of job? Because these type of jobs, you have other people's lives in your hand. And you can't just get away with, oh, well, he thought that this person did that. Or she thought that. No, it's it's not right. Because you wouldn't like it if it was one of your loved ones. It, it, it's not okay. It is not okay. And I find it funny. This is another thing I wanted to hit. I find it funny how when situations get serious, how come the police cams are always turned off? I thought those were to protect all parties involved. Whenever shit hits the fan, most most body cams from the cops are turned off. Like in his case, it was turned off. Thank God that his partner's body cam was on. That's how the truth was revealed. So, you know, th- that annoys me how, quote unquote, the body cams are s- supposed to protect all parties involved. But I noticed when, sh- like I said previously, shit hits the fan and their body cams are always off or not working or something like that. Mm-hmm. But yet, you try to get mad when people start recording with their phones and things like that. No. Take that phone out and record till you can't record no more. And I'm saying this because in some states, some states, they're kind of, they're trying to ban recordings of, like, police when you get stopped and all that. No, no, no. I'm recording every little thing. Because these things that has been happening, it makes you uncomfortable. And no, not all police officers, sheriff officers, or whatever kind of officer you are, not all of them are bad. It's just the bad things get glamorized so bad that you don't trust nobody. You don't trust none of them at all. You ever heard that saying, one apple spoils the whole bunch? And that's what it's like. It is very scary now. It's gotten to the point where you almost have to tell yourself, if something happens, I am going to protect myself and do what I have to do. Because there's been a lot of cases. You call the police for help, and you're the one. That ends up, you know, losing your life. This is so ridiculous. Uh, But, yes, I mainly wanted to hit on those topics because I had to bring out my feelings on that. And then plus, with all this new information coming out, like, if he knew her, it makes it a hundred times worse because that means if you knew her you probably knew her condition as well you probably did and things like this have to be stopped you guys be safe out there i love you all and i will see you next week but until then remember we are all designed for a purpose therefore we all have a purpose so if you have found it stand in it don't let anyone knock you off and if you haven't found it it's okay don't worry keep searching 
because as I said, we all have a purpose, no matter how big, how small, it's there. All right, love you guys. Stay safe out there. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next week.